Hello everyone! Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Joy and I'm an event host slash singer. Pero sa ngayon, focus muna tayo sa hosting. Particularly, weddings muna tayo. Sa so, weddings tayo, mag-focus dahil yun ang pinakamahirap na MCM talaga. But, before anything else, before we go any further, click naman ninyo yung subscribe. Ayan, yan. Click yung subscribe. Tapos, ilike nyo rin tong video na to, ha? Para... In the future, kasi every week magpo-post ako ng mga tips sa mga events, lahat-lahat ng klaseng tip na pwede nyo ang kailangang matutunan, not just for suppliers, pero for couples as well, or yung mga magpapa-event. So, abangan nyo yan. But for you to be updated sa mga videos, click nyo yung bell. Nandiyan, nasa na yung bell? Ayan, ayan. Nandiyan yung bell, ha? So, click nyo yung bell para ma-notify kayo every time mag-upload ako weekly. Okay? Uh, ang dami nagtatanong sa akin, Miss Joy, paano ba mag-MC? Paano ba maging tulad nyo? So, ayoko naman sabihin na magaling, but I could say na effective. Yan. Uh, sa Pinas, napakahirap mag-MC ng wedding. Bakit? Alam nyo na, eat and run. <laughs> Yan ang Pinoy. So, dapat ang program ng isang MC naka-format sa Pimplang Pinoy. Paano natin gagawin yon? Ituturo ko sa inyo yan ngayon. Okay? So, just keep on watching. Okay. I guess the first question that comes to your mind or that you have to consider kapag gusto mong mag-MC ay ito. Ready ka na ba? Are you ready to be an MC? Are you ready to be a wedding MC? So, in order for you to be ready na maging isang wedding MC, kailangan, number one, wala kang stage fright. Sin zero. Okay lang siguro ng konti, pero wag yung sobrang nervyoso. Parang kanta lang yan. Once na sumalang ka, hawak mo ng microphone, the stage is yours. Kapag nasimulan ka ng nervyos, de, diretso na rin yun. And the problem, kapag MC ka, tapos nervyoso ka, hindi mo ma-hold ang mga bisita mo. Ma they will end up just holding their cell phone and just keep the text lang yan. Hindi ka napapanoorin. Hindi ka nila pakikinggan. Number two naman, in order for you to be, to know if you're ready, yung projection ng boses mo, your voice should come across the room. Na, hindi naman kailangan super modulated. Ako kasi, uh, honestly ako, I don't have a very well speaking voice. Dahil ang speaking voice ko talaga eh, maliit. <laughs> Tawag sa akin, tweety. <laughs> Kailangan malakas, loud enough. Para pag may mga may ingay, nasa ibabaw ka. Hindi pwede masyadong alam mo ay ra yung boses mo na very soft-spoken. Hindi mo pwede yun kapag MC ka. Kailangan you have to have control sa crowd just by using your voice kasi yan yung ano but not to the point naman na maninigaw ka of course not hindi ka naman maninigaw it's just that it has to be loud clear para marinig ka na mga guests maintindihan nila and you know how to hold the microphone properly isa pa yan hindi pwedeng patayo parang hindi ka lang ha ito mm, yan this is a brush guys <laughs> okay so okay lang yan ang mic mic wag yung ganun wag naman yung sa ulong hawak na parang rapper wag ganun Mm, sakto lang. Pero talaga yung audio mo, dinig na dinig, okay? Yung isang tip pa para you're ready to go, gusto mo. Nandun yung passion. Kailangan alam mong e-enjoy mo. Hindi dahil na-push ka lang. Hindi dahil you just want to blend in. You just want to earn money. Dahil kaya gusto mo mag-MC. Well, let's face it, lahat naman tayo gusto kong nita ng pera. Pero, dapat ang income, hindi yan yung, hindi yan yung reason bakit mo papasukin ang hosting career. Dapat, secondary na lang siya. The first thing na dapat na isipin ninyo and i-consider ninyo, yun ay, yun ang gusto ninyo. Enjoy niyan yan. It's a passion. Dahil yan, ang reason kaya kang makikilala because you enjoy what you're doing automatically magiging maganda ang kalabasan ng iyong hosting. Okay? 
Okay, so <laughs> Nali ko, gulo gulo ng book ko eh Alright, so Granting that you already have those Okay na, set ka na Then you can start Okay, and the first thing of course na You have to do, you have to meet With your potential Or you have to meet with your client With your couple Kasi para at least alam mo Kung anong gusto nila Kung anong gusto nilang mangyari If they want, kung anong mood ang gusto nila And of course, it's a getting to know Thing, importante yun Because you have to build up Rapport with your with your couple Before the actual day Okay? Next thing That you have to practice Every time you host Mind your watch Asa ng watch ko? Nandiyan lang yan <laughs> But you have to Be aware of the time Huwag kang magpapalate kasi that's very, very unprofessional. It's better to be early rather than running late and you're all sweaty, napapagod ka, hangus-hangus ka. Ako nga, every time I MC, wala pang aircon, andun na ako. Kung anong oras sa simbahan, as much as possible, 30 minutes after. Say, ang misa 3, 3.30 mga ganun, andun na ako sa sa venue or basta wala pang guest yung tansyado ko yung oras kasi ang mga wedding naman kalkulado mo yan eh basta alam mo lang kung anong oras ang simula why? why do you have to be early? first, syempre you have to get the feel of the venue and then kailangan you get the feel as well of all the people around you, yung mga suppliers because you're not a one man show this is not a one man show this is a team, iba iba kayo ng mga uh, you know, offer na service and uh, kailangan you work with the team hindi pwedeng you work on your own you work with the team pero in respect din sa kanyang boundaries ganun yun and of course the moment guests the moment guests arrive gets mo na kahit pa paano na sa site mo na kung ano ang class ng crowd to ano ba to class ABC Okay guys, so that's it for now. Ngayon lang yan. So, nag-focus muna ako sa basics, sa fundamentals before ka talaga sumalang to be an MC. Then, there are still a lot of uh, things to discuss. So, abangan nyo yan. Do not forget, I hope, for those of you na hindi pa nakaka-subscribe, don't forget, subscribe and ring the bell para at least pag nag-post ako, updated ka kayo. And for those who are aspiring to be hosts someday, ito na yun, ito na yun, naantay ninyo. Ito na yung nire-request niya sa akin. Okay? So, I'll see you soon on my next video. Thank you so much! Thanks for watching! Bye!